and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Gruul Arcbow. It's been a few weeks since we've played Gruul Arcbow uh, because I've liked the Bant Arcbow deck so much. But this is kind of like where we started with Arcbow was uh, with Ilharg and Ronis um, at the beginning of War of the Spark standard. So let's give it a try again. You know, it's been a little while since we have played it. Um, as you can see here, I have switched up some numbers since the last time that we played it as, as uh, I'm kind of going with like what the metagame is is going with these days. Some cards that I like, I'm playing more of. For example, we got all these Thorn Lieutenants in here. That was not a card that we were really playing too much before, but I really like these days. And I'm actually going to try out two Domri Chaos Bringers. Whenever we played the Teamer uh, Hydra deck the other day, I really liked Domri giving the... Uh, Bio Essence Hydra, Haste. I thought that was really nice with the Riot. And maybe Domri and Chaos Bringer can, can uh, do some good work with Ilharg here, giving Ilharg some Haste. Um, as you can see, I have a little bit less uh, Rekindling Phoenixes. I haven't been like super impressed with that card recently, but that's still a necessary card to have to be able to go in the air for whenever the battlefield gets clogged up on the ground we need to have some aerial attack as well and i just really really like ravager worm um, so we're adding in a third i just think this card is very strong and with having uh both these domeries to help us add mana and all these mana creatures hopefully we can get there uh to the six mana pretty consistently there <laughs> hey what's up yad um so that's that's our plan here uh, I'm going to try out a couple frenzies in the sideboard, something a little different. Instead of having like Chandra's in the sideboard as like our anti control thing, I want to see if we can maybe get a couple of frenzies. Because, like, remember, we, we played a Gruel Frenzy the other day, and, uh, you know, having Frenzy in the Gruel deck was pretty sweet. So let's try out a Frenzy in like a Gruel deck kind of like this for our uh, card advantage engine. Let's just see how it goes. And of course, War Bosses. Uh, against control as well. Some early removal against uh, aggro decks. But let's see. Let's see if Nullhide Ferox is still in here doing its thing. All right. Um, had some requests here in chat to try this deck out in Mythic, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and head on over to Mythic here for Gruul Arcbow and give it a try. So I should update this to say. Ranked for the R there. Yeah, Frenzy and Arcbow do synergize very well. Um, that could be just that could just be a, a, a space worth exploring more. Like maybe just like four Arcbow, four Frenzy, and then all creatures, because you know you need to have a bunch of creatures to hit off of Arcbow. That could be, yeah, ex just. Because, yeah, you get to reset the top of your library with the Arcbow, and you can't cast the cards from your hand anyway, so you can just ditch it to Arcbow, since you can't play the card from your hand anyway. Yeah, I could see that doing some good work. Um, Honestly, I probably should have four Arcbow. It just Whenever we played the deck before, there was three in here, and so I just kind of kept it as three. But yeah, I mean, <clears throat> no one needs to convince me that Arcbow is a wonderful card. You don't have to. You don't have to sell me on that of playing for it. I just didn't really update it to four. Tbh. Um, I kind of wanted to try out like more Domries. All right, so we're playing another, another Gruul deck. Probably maybe a little bit hard to get through. Heaving 
I'm a crazy beast. Where do you see my mates? All right, so best case scenario, we hit Ravager Worm here. Ravager Worm. That's unfortunate. We are the many. The Ravager Worm would be able to eat the Raptor, and then they wouldn't be able to eat my Spellbreaker. Doesn't always work out how you want. It's a good card. I think at this point, you know, instead of just having like a Ravager Worm eat a Growth Chamber Guardian, might as well have like the Phoenix or, you know, like Ravager Worm eat Ripchar, you know, like let's just grab the Phoenix because then Phoenix can compete with theirs in the air. Let's see if we get. This is this will be kind of bad if we hit Ronus, I guess. All right, that worked. All right, Arcbo doing its thing. Getting us a bunch of creatures. You know, the Archibald got us the Ilharg and the Ravager Worm and a Phoenix. You know, just got us all those things. So Ripjaw Raptor definitely seems pretty good here. Is this a matchup where I want Frenzy? This one, like, where, where we're going to have a Battlefield stall where I want Frenzy? I mean, coil seems pretty obvious to just play coils. But what not to play is not so obvious. Like, everything seems okay. I guess Thorn Lieutenant gets outclassed very quickly. So what if we just take out Thorn Lieutenant, put in some coils? And maybe it's hard to protect Domri on the draw, like this Domri. 
This one's basically a removal spell. I'm gonna try a frenzy. Hey, Flux. That game didn't look the best for a little bit, but Arcbow, such a strong card, as we saw there in those games. Or that game, sorry. Those turns. Yeah, Ilharg in particular doesn't matches up really poorly against all the planeswalkers that everybody's playing. Which is why since like the first week or two of the format, you basically just don't see Ilharg at all. It's just it's really hard to to uh, attack with it. But we're still gonna be trying it out here today. Wild come to me. Hmm. Vivian's annoying. You know, turn three Vivian on the play. You can't stop nature. That's a, that's a tough one. Duels are for push knobs. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Unfortunately, I don't have any creatures with Trample right now. All right. You cost so much mana. Oh, I should have played Ripjaw. Well, no, because Ripjaw wouldn't have been able to get through the Spellbreaker. I don't really love any of my options. I mean, I could I could still play the Domri, you know, tap out, play the Domri, fight the Spellbreaker. But it's almost like, what's the what's the point of that, really? Hey, what's up, Storm? The wilds are my shield. So again, another creature in play first. Or I can try to have Domri fight next turn and hit this Vivian before Vivian ultimates. Yeah, first match of the day. We are up a game, but our opponent had Vivian Reed turn three on the play. For game two, that's really... And so it's... We're just trying to 
deal some damage to it to keep it from ultimating, but not looking like we're going to be successful. I mean, we need to, we need to draw a land here. Okay, we got the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing good, Star. How you doing? Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. <clears throat> okay, so you've got claws. Such a bad trade for us just to keep. That Vivian from ultimating. Yeah, Vivian all gives them indestructible. Let us fight. All right, let's go to the next game. We have a whole lot of planeswalkers over there. Vivian doesn't, or sorry, Frenzy doesn't look as good. In, uh, in the face of a Vivian. So we get Domarine instead there. I wouldn't mind drawing more lands. We have Land of Wars Elves in our deck, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we've drawn Land of Wars. Later on in the game, both times. Must be nice. Turn one elf. Ooh, no three drop. Interesting. Our Phoenix egg's cooler than your Phoenix egg. No more getting pushed around. Chain Whirler would be really annoying. So Domri dies whether I block with Paradise Druid or not. I, I still think trading Paradise Druid for a Spellbreaker is probably a good trade. That was a flex. Like, my 
Phoenix egg's better than your Phoenix egg. So they have to have lightning strike, right? Like that's the only reason why they would chalk in here. Hey, after wizard. I still think they have a lightning strike also in hand. Land drop, please. Well, that's pretty good, too. Illhard works well with Ravager Worm. No, you're whenever cards rotate, they're gonna just stay in your collection. Nothing's gonna change with them. There'll be some other way to use those cards. There is said lightning strike. They won't be legal and standard anymore, but there'll be some other way to be able to use the card still. They just haven't decided exactly what that is, or they haven't announced that yet. I don't want them to draw a land. I don't want them to be able to activate Hellkite again. Yeah, Ravager Worm with Ilharg is really sweet. Very sweet. Oh yeah, Anomaly. Yeah, Grixis a mass. Yeah, that could be a, a good deck for the the counters format. Well, they have to hit exactly Lanwar Elf. No one knows the wilds like I do. Or have a two mana creature in hand. All right, gotta win. Hey, Rival, going good. We just pick up, picked up our win in the first match of the day. So good start, good start. <laughs> first of many, that's right.
Mythic rule. Bleh. I kinda need more lands. We're on the draw. You can draw more lands on the draw. On the play, I think I'm only getting this. But really, like, you know, one land, we get to play the Domri. Well, not looking so good now. Not only did we not draw a land, but a, our opponent has a turn one land or elf. And that's unbeatable. You call it anarchy. For me, it's, we won't answer to other kids. I guess today was Gruel Day. Looks like today was Gruel Day over in Mythic. Oh, have at it, boys. What? Can't compete with that. <laughs> yeah, the Gruul. This Gruul Arkbo mirror. I don't know if they're playing Arkbo, but the Ilharg mirror. What's if that? I play so Spellbreaker, Wait, that might be me. then you know, like the the Anarch of Chaos there just fights, has the Ilharg fight my Spellbreaker and just kills it. By playing this Domri out here, at least maybe we don't take as much damage because maybe they kill the the Domri and we don't take as much damage. Or that's just lethal. Turn 4 kill on standard. I thought modern was the turn 4 format. Looks like standard is. Gonna bring in one shock also. Instead of having like that one, that fourth, like that that one four mana planeswalker, like the one Domri or the one Frenzy or something like that, I'm gonna have one shock to try to kill Lanowar off. Oh yeah, turn one Lanowar off is too too good. <laughs> the pig was kind of hungry. <laughs> Yep, nobody has ever, ever lost playing Elf on turn one. Still don't think it can happen. On the play. Turn one Elf on the play. Can't lose. If they're on the play and they play Forest Land or Elf, you can just go to the next game. That one's over. We've had a whole lot of turn two Paradise Druids almost every game. We have turn two Paradise Druid, but we haven't had turn one Land War Elf. We're not that lucky. Alright, so until they, like, before they just get a whole bunch of Growth Chamber Guardians, I think that's an okay coil target. It's not the absolute best coil target, you know, it's not like a re getting a Rekindling Phoenix out of there, but I think it's certainly reasonable instead of facing down a whole bunch of 4-4s. Four 
way to see my man. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. No, don't have Lana Werewolf. Just pass the turn. Yay. Um. So do I want... I'm going to save the Lana Werewolf in hand, and I'm playing this thing. Yeah. We will rise again. Yeah, that's good. Okay, with Ronus. Um, I'll just pass. <laughs> yep, Hawkeye's here won his attention. He's like, what are you doing? Unfortunate. On the town. Remember when I knew a boxer hawkeye? Yeah, my, my desk has like two parts to it. There's like a, a lower level of the desk, like right, you know, like where we're at, and then there's there's the upper level up here that like the TV's on. It's so like I have like my two monitors down here and like the TV up there. And so yeah, Hawkeye is the second level of the desk. That's what he is. Rubbing his face against, I don't know, marking it or whatever. Whatever cats do. <laughs> yep, this is a cat stream now. Oh yeah, Hawk I mean this is really Hawkeye stream. He lets me talk and and everything, but this is his stream. <laughs> Hawkeye was a stray cat on my grandmother's farm in Iowa. So you can, t you know, see how he has like a, a pretty short tail for a cat. Um, part of his, uh, whenever he's a little baby kitten, and you know, stray cat, part of his tail um, froze off in the winter. But he was just a, a scared little baby kitten. Didn't didn't get along with like other. Stray cats, they all picked on, on him and everything, but he's around 12 years old now. Been loading with me for like 10 of them, and the bestest of kitties. Mm -hmm. 
we've we've made like some some different cat decks here on stream. People have donated for cat decks uh, for Hawkeye, like you know, with like the Ajani, like Abzan with like, basically green white with like the the one. There's a white cat that you can uh, pay a black mana for for Death Touch and Standard, and then of course with the Ajani's and things like that. Uh, they weren't spectacular because you know, like the the cat cards are pretty weak overall, so the the decks weren't spectacular. But I'd say they worked. Nice. You're gonna go to the SPCA get one. Cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Cats are a lot of fun to have. Usually, cats like being in twos. Like usually, like they are like social creatures with. With, uh, you know, like, they like, like, uh, especially if you're, like, gone at work a lot during the day, you know, it's good to, it's kind of good to have two cats that can hang out together. Um, but Hawkeye's kind of different. We, I used to have another cat. Uh, she passed away, but, um, Hawkeye was always really jealous of the other cat, because the other, you know, I'd be petting the other cat or something, and Hawkeye would be jealous, and he was, he, he hasn't gotten a, along with any of the other animals like you know the two dogs that stay in the living room he's been a lot happier like he's always been a lot happier on his own well saying i had lethal is i mean at that scenario it's i can't just say that i have lethal because my opponent has five mana they could have you know like multiple removal spells in hand so it's not like i i just necessarily had you know, obviously I could have dealt lethal damage, yes, but it's not like... I mean, my opponent has cards in hand and they get to play Magic too, so I could have, yes, I could have, like, tried to... I mean, I could have attacked for lethal damage and and everything, but the better, you know, the better play is setting up, you know, continually setting up, like, better next turns and everything. It's not like... Um, it's not like it was guaranteed. <laughs> yep, the opponent gets to play Magic too. Azorius Quasi Duplicate. <laughs> that does sound like a sweet deck. So basic planes, basic planes, basic planes. Hmm. So I could play the null hide, but then it makes it harder to play the Domri. I'm gonna play the Spellbreaker, where the Spellbreaker can fight Resplendent Angel efficiently. Well, they do get a 2-2 flyer that's going to be able to kill the Domery, but it does help keep their battlefield clear for, like, Legion's Landing and things like that. Oh, have at it, boys. We get that Domery for an extra turn. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we, the two times we've drawn land where Ulf have been like in the late game, like where like one time I was conceding, uh, the one game we lost, and then like the other time I ditched it to Arkbo. No, it doesn't really look like we have. Land we're off in the deck right now. Um hmm. So I, while I like these seven cards, do I really need like Ripjaw Raptor in? Like maybe I don't. Or like Brontodon. I'm not gonna play Brontodon. Brontodon killing a history banale is not really that good. I mean, killing a Conclave Tribunal is about as good as we can do. But like, with like they get they go bigger than three four pretty easily. Thornley Town's a good blocker early. Added that today, Luto. Yeah. Gonna try the frenzies as like instead of Chandra's or anything else like that as like a card advantage engine against control decks. I, I don't know what to take out, honestly. I don't, I don't know. Um, I guess I'm going to take out sp the Thorn Lieutenants and kind of panicked and I took out took out a Ferox since I have the I guess I'm having one Ripjaw replace a Ferox. You know if that's good. Like I feel like Ferox is something like they'll be able to just chump block for a while, like all the time. Yeah, maybe I don't need the Raptor. I'm not. I don't know if Raptor, like the, the first Raptor is better than the fourth Ferox. I don't know. Because like at least if they're chump blocking Ripjaw, I'm drawing a card kind of thing. Frenzy seems like it works really well with Arkbo too. We were talking about that, like how you can ditch, uh, you know, like when you can't play cards from your hand, you can just get to ditch them to Arkbo, and also you can reset your the top of your library as well. It's a little rough. My, I can't like haste a, a spellbreaker to help attack Gideon because of the first strike. This means they have to either chump block with the Knight of Grace or lose the Gideon. They can, of course, attack my Domri here. They could minus six the Gideon to get rid of the Ferox. But I wouldn't be so mad at that. 
Because I think... Okay, not minusing. I am not quite. No, I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. <laughs> you fight dirty. All right, keep that thing for minus sixing. Because so if I if I play the spellbreaker, and a, you know attack with the haste there with the spellbreaker, just don't get to do anything else. Like having Il play an Ilharg here next turn, we can play Arc Bow and we can put in the spellbreaker off the Ilharg. This is just a better plan for us. the darkness all right Domri down They're trying to get this wall of first strikes up over here. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Don't really want to pay for mana for a lava coil. I really want to hit Ravager Worm off the Arc Bow. That's what I want to do. Hmm. I should just play the Lava Coil. Getting rid of the first striker means they can't just double first strike the spellbreaker to kill it uh, without it doing anything. They're going down to one. All right. Gustavo, I'm doing really good. Hope you're having a good day. It's not going to do too much for you, opponent. Get him, Land War Elf. Get him. Get him. I think that Land War Elf's too much. Yep. Land War Elf was too much there. All right, three and zero oh with Gruel Arcbow. <laughs> that one off came in clutch. Yep, turn the good old turn ten land or off. That's that's when we draw it. <laughs> that's when we start it. Yeah, after this after this league, I'm definitely gonna go grab a cup of water because I realized that I forgot to do that before.
Hey, After Wizard gifting out a sub to Juki for those awesome lyrics. <laughs> Thank you, Santa After Wizards. Thanks for starting off this stream well. Juki, hope you're getting your hype boats in the chat. And Gustava. What? Turn one land war off. Uh, we're on the draw, though. It's not automatic win. Let's keep these hype boats going. Thank you so much, After Wizard. Hmm. Let's get the Spellbreaker in here. So I know I could have gone Domri, add a mana, play Llanowar Elf. But I think this is a little better to not have my opponent scared of the, of like the, or necessarily know about the fighting part. Plus if I would have done that, I would have had to, uh, like the Domri would be at four if they attack with if they attack with a wild growth walker. Hmm. What's that? Something smells rotten. Then like I'm, I may Wait, like lose my Domri. Sand. <laughs> All right, let's play this thing before the Ferox comes in. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Of course, we don't have to worry about Settle, considering we have Spellbreaker. That's a lot of damage. Man, Ilharg is sweet. Gruul is cool. Hmm. Yeah, this yeah, deck looks strong. It looks looks really good when we have that turn one land or else, that's for sure. I mean, I guess this is just yet again another another like creature matchup here where Thorn Lieutenant just gets outclassed and um where we want coils like instead. And I think that's about all I want to do without knowing more of our opponent's deck. I certainly think that they're a command the dreadhorde deck where I want to be aggressive. Be be aggressive. I wonder if they're more than just the three colors. I 
So the question is, isn't it awkward to hit... Question is, isn't it awkward to hit uh, Ronus with Arcbow if you're using it on your opponent's turn? I mean, you have a 5-5 Death Touch. It's still pretty good. You probably turned like some crappy card, like a land or something, into the 5-5 Death Touch. So that's pretty good. Down to 13. It's a whole bunch of exploring, a bunch of bigger lifelink creatures. Now you get the spirit. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. They're down to three. Three is not very much. No, get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah, take those lands. <laughs> yeah, Ronus does a lot of damage. <laughs> How do you beat this deck? Uh, removal spells are usually pretty good. Uh, we, we've just been facing like other creature decks for the most part. Oh, no. So like removal spells like that. Getting rid of my Phoenix. Alright, so... Obviously, you know, we didn't know anything about, like, Path of Discovery, Prison Realm, with, like, what their deck was doing, so we can bring in, maybe we want to bring in some Lebrontodons after this. I'll be back after I've licked my words. You'll see. So I want to trade Ronus for Jade Light and for like the two Explore creatures. Is that a good trade? Yeah, it's probably a good trade. The problem with playing Nullhide here is I'm like not going to be playing this Chaos Bringer like at all. Well, I mean, hopefully we draw a land and we can play Spellbreaker and Paradise Druid next turn. Yeah, Ronus comes back and can double our creature's power again. That would be useful if we have some Trample with Spellbreaker. Is this other? This is other creatures, right? Yeah, each other creature. Yeah, you don't it doesn't double itself. Profane procession? What? Profane procession. That card's great against me.
Right, if you don't know what this card does, uh, there you go. Five mana to just exile a creature. All right, so we're definitely going to need Brontodons from our sideboard. <laughs> the problem with our game one hand is we, we won that game one way too fast and didn't get to properly sideboard. I didn't know that they were just in Enchantment Tribal over here. Yeah, it looks like Deckmaster is working. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Gonna take a gander. Any geese here? I'm not going to win this, am I? No, I'm not going to win this. Because like that's like a lot of damage coming in at me. No, I can't win this. Hey, Prugor. Day's going really good. We're 3-0 going to a game 3 here. Whoops, strong card. Let's get Frenzy. We had a lot of things that were that killed stuff, but not not things that got rid of Frenzy. So Frenzy over Domri. If I'm playing Bronson on, what am I taking out? Maybe Spellbreaker? Spellbreaker's good though. Nullhide? If I take out Null Hide. Nah, no hide's great. Spellbreaker. Gonna replace three of those with Brontodons. <laughs> Bought an entire Amulet Titan deck about two weeks ago. Learn the lines of play. That's a tough one to learn there for sure. But yeah, around 50% win rate, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds sounds good. Uh, we do have turn one land off on the play, which would normally be unbeatable, but you have to play other things too. Basically, this this is like an awesome five card hand. Like you know, five of these cards are great, but it's just like the the fourth and the fifth land we just don't need. Okay, looks better. Give them coil for you know wild growth walker if they have that or. I guess Land World. Or Tristani is another good card to coil, but we'll just slow them down here where we can have Null Hide next turn. Mm. 
I guess I play this thing. Because otherwise, if I play Null Hide, we just don't get to play it. And I can keep Null Hide in the hand to put into play off of Ilharg. But now I can, like, play Ilharg, have Ilharg fight. I guess I can't do both of those unless I draw a land next turn. Uh, no, I haven't pre-ordered the new set yet. Any, If there's anybody that did not pre-order... It's annoying. That did not pre-order War of the Spark, can you let me know if you, if like in-game, can you purchase the Liliana card style with gems? Or was that only available if you pre-order? You'll see. You know, I, I did the pre-order because I wanted to make sure I got the Liliana card style, but I don't... You know, it's like they have, like, the Chandra card style this time. I'm not sure if... You know, I just don't know if I, like, have to pre-order. Or... If it's avail... Like, if you don't, if it's available afterwards for purchase. So, not the stained glass window one, of course. The, the other one. Wow, just no, just giving me no respect right away. No fear of a burn spell, of a shock. I mean, obviously the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm because I have like a shock or a strike, right? Like that's that's the only reason to put that paradise druid in. So you should probably be scared of blocking with your Tristani. Wow, just no, no respect. No, I've never heard of that game. Uh, Bloodstained? No. Okay, it does give you the option to get the Borderless Liliana for the 1200 gems. Okay. Good to know. So then I may not get the 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 pre-order pack then. I guess that I'd have to do the pre-order pack to get the sleeves then too. Hmm. So basically, right now, where I'm at, I don't need to buy any packs at all for the the current set, because I have basically everything for the current set. So I have 47 rares, 13 mythics, as far as wild cards go, 47 rare wild cards and 13 mythic rare wild cards, and then 39,000 gold, so that's like 39 boosters, and counting, you know, like that's... That'll increase. So if we're looking at like another month, is that going to be enough to get like all the cards? Maybe not quite enough. How cool are these sleeves? Do I, do I really want these sleeves? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, we are 4 and 0 oh with Gruel Arcbow. Here in Mythic. Yeah, I don't think I have enough to make a, a, a good enough dent on the Mythics, do I? Because, yeah, like only 13 Mythic wild cards is not very many. The Mythics are always are the hard thing for me. So, yeah, might as well go with the final boss playlist. We're going to play one more match here. We're playing the five matches here in Mythic. No mana creature. Never lucky. Can we go 5-0 Mythic with Gruul? Let's see.
Phoenix. This could be tough to race. Ditching Drake. That's probably good for me. It's going to be hard for me to beat Drake, so I'm glad that thing's gone. And them not playing a land is also good for me. You don't see the Liliana in your store? <laughs> oh, Chronic Slayer, that's perfectly fine doing Singleton with Rat Colony. That's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. Uh, that was the first time I think we cast a Thorn Lieutenant. We've sideboarded out every single match because we were just playing against creature decks. This is a match where Thorn Lieutenant's kind of good because it does, you know, eat the Lightning Strike and give you a 1 1, I suppose. Can you make me discard a card? Play. I don't know. Play something that makes me discard a card. I don't know what that thing is yet. Uh, can I discard a card? For, make me discard a card for jumpstart? I'll discard this thing for your jumpstart. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> as a, what if this said as an additional cost to cast a spell, target player discards a card and then draw two? Man, that would be broken. All right, how many birdies? Hopefully only the, the one birdie. Please, no more birdies. Okay, good. Just the one so far. I wouldn't mind drawing a land so that we'll have like six mana to activate Arcbow to look for Ravager Worm or Ronus. Those are the two cards we want to hit. They hit me for 10. No attacks. Hmm. So we don't get Ravager Worm. So let's just attack here. And then play another Ferox in an Elf. So their plan is Lightning Strike. I could try to hit Ronus to for the win. It's probably just not necessary to try to hit Ronus for the win. Yeah, you know, like I don't think we're that desperate. Like, like if we miss, maybe we're in a bad spot. That is also true. I could just get the boar back. 
at their end step. Let's just do that. Instead of playing my Null Hide, let's just get their boar back. Yeah, I actually I like just getting boar back instead of just playing Null Hide. Get an instant speed pig. Cool, Crock Slayer. Yeah, I can always use some more donation decks. Are they gonna kill me? Holy crap, I'm dead. Alright, well, I would not have hit Ronus. Anyway, we need to hit Rekindling Phoenix there to be able to block. Yeah, just kill me from 20. Hey, Zerf. All right, down a game. Down a game. Get, get these coils in here and I'm gonna just I'm not gonna not gonna really uh, change my deck up too much just just taking out three of the Domries for three coils keeping all the creatures the same Ripjaw is nice how it doesn't die to or like whenever it like all the burn spells you get to draw cards um, entrancing melody is like a card that I don't want to see but you know we could see here it's one that I'm sure it's being brought in. I just hope not being drawn. Yeah, final boss is tough. It's fine. That's fine. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. At least those burn spells aren't killing us. No, not the coil. Got the Dom re-adding mana. Let's 
So our mana creatures got burned, but we got we got enough mana. That's all good. Heads. He's my bread and butter. I want to force them to have coil instead of just strike. 5-4 also attacks against Phoenix a whole lot better, you know, like if they play a Phoenix. Sub-Zero! Thanks to that sub right there. How many? So they have six. I really do appreciate that. Hmm. It's tough. I was raised by wolves, though they might have also just been big dogs. Well, I kind of wish I would have played... I think the one thing that I wish I would have done is play Spellbreaker before Phoenix, and maybe they would have coiled the Spellbreaker, and then Phoenix would have been good. Maybe. They can only punish you if they catch you. I need to stop drawing lands, though. Keep one in hand because of Arc Bow, of course. That was like our third or fourth land in a row. We need to stop drawing those. At least third. I don't know if it was four or not. I've been knocked about. Well, I, I do like Domri just taking a lightning strike like that. There's another coil. We're going to be out of burn spells here pretty soon. Obviously, they have that beacon bolt still, but it's already two coils, two strikes, and a shock. <laughs> now you're getting the spirit. Oh, really? You always use Dark Bow on your turn? Yeah, you can, you can use it on on your opponent's turn. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Well, I guess I need to play this sixth land here for Thorn Lieutenant. Uh, there's a Phoenix. Coil's not going to do it, bud. You're going to have to use another spell. Oh, looks like you're all mouth and no hands. All right, so that's three coils, two strikes, two shocks so far. It's pretty likely that the Beacon Bolt's going to be the thing that kills the Lieutenant. But, you know, obviously maybe not. Maybe just turned on one of their removal spells, but I want to... I want to hit hard. I think, it, I think it's worth... 
that risk there. Nope, they found the fourth coil. Alright, well all the coils are gone. Maybe we'll draw a phoenix or an arc bow. Or another land. So six lands and a Thorn Lieutenant were our seven draw steps. Yep. Flood City here. Uh, no, Worm can kill Flip Descanta. Yes, that's what, that's what Ravager Worm's doing is killing Flip Descantas. All right, so still four and one is a really good showing. We had kind of that crazy. Um, I don't know that was just kind of a crazy match to lose there. Um, but yeah, girl Arkbo was really sweet here, though. Uh, besides, like that one, you know, besides that one match. Uh, where the game, the first game, you know, we just died from 20 to like a whole bunch of burn spells and a big crackling Drake, just dying like one shot from 20. And then, you know, just completely flooding out game two. Besides that, it was really cool. We got to, um, I don't know, Ilharg honestly felt really good for us. Like Ilharg was like winning games. You know, this is a card that doesn't see a whole lot of play right now, but it was just winning games for us. We played against a lot of other creature decks where we were just bigger Ilharg Ronus doing a lot of work. Pretty sweet little deck. Arcbow was really good for us. You know, like every game that we had Arcbow, we were we were doing well with uh you know discarding cards and, and hitting like these big things, putting them into play. Ravager Worm of course, awesome. Just best animation too. It's like one of the good reasons to play this deck for that animation. But there we go. Um Gruel Arcbow. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as well. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, I'd be appreciative of that. Oh yeah, I do I do think I want four arc bows in here. Good good call there. I guess let's talk about that here for just a second here. Let me get the playlist started again. Um, Cause yeah, arc, arc bow is definitely an important one. Um, I think playing the fourth arc bow over that second Domri. That's that's something I want to change there. Yeah, I want to change that going forward. Uh, like I talked about at the beginning of the video, or like whenever at the beginning of the, whenever somebody was asking about that, um, I just we just had three arc bows the last time we played this deck, and I didn't really update it. I was like, oh, three's probably fine, and you know, let me try a couple dom couple of those domries. But I think I only want one of those domries and get another arc bow in here, because yeah, that card is arc bow is just awesome. So yeah, yeah, let's get four arc bows in here. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks, and Dragon. Uh, glad you're here live. Yeah, no, our, yeah, that card's good enough for a four of. For sure. All right, there we go. So if you're watching this again later on YouTube, hope you already did hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching Gruel Arcbow, and I'll see you for another video. Okay.